Don't touch me. Stop touching me. What you have to understand is I have. I don't care. I'm requesting a female. I'll touch my lawyer. No. Ma'am, what are you doing? Don't you know jerk. What? Don't jerk away okay. from me. Listen to me. Don't jerk away you from me. You see this? Here are some incidents where warranted criminals finally realize they are caught. Oh, Jasper. Jasper. The first incident is caused by 21-year-old Jack Sirius Lezine. On June 20th, 2022, in La Crosse, Wisconsin, officers noticed Jack Sirius in a parking lot, only days before he had run from the police and also threatened a woman. Jack Sirius! Hey, Chad Markin, I'll ask a PD. How you doing? Uh, hey, you're, uh, you had a bunch of charges on your, uh, the girl? Girl. Yeah, was it? No. She was talking to me. Right. Yeah. So I can call it right now. Can you? Yeah, I can call it. Yeah. What's that? Are you say, you your you say what are you saying? Nothing. Here's here's the deal. State Patrol wants to talk to you about about uh, a deal the other day. Yeah. Do you ever get out with them? Um, I was about to. You're about to? Yeah. Okay. Who were you supposed to get out with? Police. Lacrosse. Do you know who you were talking to? Um, uh, I'm with the Alaska PD. Uh, Alaska. Yep. Okay. And uh, they got a hold of me, just okay. trying to figure out what was going on. I don't know. What about her? That's your girl. Yeah. What's going on? We got some stuff to figure out with about that also. Yeah, about what? It's a whole combination. It's that. It's the state patrol. Did you talk to a state patrol officer last week? Last week? Yeah. No. I wasn't around on state patrol last week. No? No. Okay. It's a mystery. Did someone give your name? No. No? Can I go, can I go let my dog go? No, not until we get it figured out. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about Bobby. I'm right here. I understand that, but I need to talk to you in reference to what okay, the state I'm patrol not, is. I'm not running right now. Okay. Not, okay. Like, until dog. we figure it out, man. Oh, Jasper. Jasper. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm upset. Yeah, come on. Jazzers, come on. Why are you doing this? Why are you being so aggressive? Until we figure it out. Why are you being so aggressive? Until we figure it out. Like, like, like. 3 o'clock, 10 78. He's being disregarded. Just, uh. What? I'm asking what's going on. You're gonna be detained for it. You're being detained because we have pending charges on you. Pending charges? Yes. Alright, send it to my thing in my court date. No. Until we figure it out, All you're right, being I'll, go talk to you. I'll talk no. to my lawyer. I'll talk to my lawyer. No. Three twelve is running northbound. We're going eastbound. Black shorts, gray pants. Eastbound from fifth. Eastbound from fifth. Going down Johnson Street. North side. The officer finally handcuffed him. Despite the chase, Jack Sirius continued to act ignorant. He asked for more information from the officer. Multiple officers escorted him to a police cruiser. Roll on your stomach. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands. Hands. Hand my mom for the FaceTime. Yeah. Are you hurt? No, bro. I don't know what's going on. I've explained it to you already. Bro, I, I you pull away like that? And you get defensive? Bro, I'm scared, This bro. is what's happening. I done lost family And members. I explained this already oh, to you. To Explained it all to you already. You said I was being detained. Exactly. And you took off. For what? I've explained it already. I asked you exactly. Right, let's I, I get him up. Yeah. I want to know more information. Roll on your side. That's all I was asking. Up. Stand up. Just, One, two, three. Come on. Just stand up. Just stand bro, up. I just want to want know more information. I swear to God. I acted that. Spread your feet apart. That's his, yeah. You don't mean anything. I'm just going to stick with you. Bro, bro, how you doing? No weapons on you. Bro. Mm -hmm. 
tree top. Traffic. If you can get someone to my squad car, it's unsecure in the back of the apartment complex. There's quite a crowd for me. Copy, Lazarus. You grabbed me physically, bro. And I told you. I said we could stand right in front of the door, bro. Nope. Have a seat. Hey, can I see my phone The officer informed others about the charges Jack Sirius had. He also told them about the chain of events that had transpired. An officer takes him to the scene where the chase started. Where's the shoes they dropped? He kicked, he kicked them off when I was chasing them. You look good. <laughs> Thanks. The old man still got it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we have a uh, ton of charges. He beat up his girlfriend this past weekend. Strangulation, all kinds of stuff. He was supposed to have a 9 millimeter. He got in a chase with the State Patrol on Friday. He got in one two weeks ago with State Patrol also. So. Yeah, jail? Yeah. I gotta see if I, my car's still there. There's a whole bunch of people there. Yeah, I'll follow down. It's crap. But yeah, just take him down there and we'll have uh, everything else. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the appointment. <laughs> I appreciate the help. No, he was, uh, I had him all in uh, eye shot the whole way. When Hughes came up, he just ordered him out right away and he gave up. I saw him on his own on the other side. Yeah. I didn't see you. <laughs> That's hurtful. Well, I mean, I wasn't looking for, you know, the fast on Alaska cop. I'm watching. <laughs> Holy. Oh, he's moving. I kept him in eye shot, which was important. Yeah. When Hughes came up, I was like, oh, thank God. Well, I was waiting for him to duck through an alley headed south. So I'm kind of and the thing is, he knew right away. He got out of the car. I pulled up, said who I was, and I gave some bullshit story that his girlfriend reported something because she's our victim still. Right. So he ends up calling her right away. He's like, I'm going to check on my dog. I'm like, no, you're not. So I went to grab him. He pulls away. I put him up against his car. He's fighting. He's fighting. And then finally... I let go of him, and he's like, we're not doing this, we're not doing this. I'm like, no, we're not doing it, and he takes off. At the scene, he met with other officers. He joked about his vehicle not being stolen. He started to look around as Jack Sirius was known to carry a firearm. He again explained the chase to other cops. I was hoping my car is still gonna be here. It was, still running. <laughs> his shoes are somewhere over here. I just wanna make sure he didn't throw He's always supposed to have a gun on him. I just want to make sure. I thought I was an eye shot of him the whole time, but yeah, and like I said, we started wrestling right about here. I put him up against the car. I couldn't feel anything, but then he broke away and took off that way, so. I am getting too old for this. <laughs> Jack Sirius Lazine. We finally got him at 7th and Johnson. Right, right at the intersection in the okay. yard right there. Just go from there and work your way back. North side of the sidewalk. It would have been just check the yards and shit like okay. that. All right, sounds good. Okay. I mean, I smell the weed everywhere, but down here it's, <laughs> it's all you do smell. Right. In the midst of all of this, it's just... I know. Jack Sirius Lazine faces 20 charges covering all the incidents. He is facing two felony counts of strangulation five counts of bail jumping, second degree recklessly endangering safety, fleeing an officer, stalking, and intimidation of a victim with the use of a dangerous weapon, two misdemeanor counts of battery, intentionally mistreating animals, two counts of criminal damage to property, two counts of disorderly conduct, resisting, and possession of contraband paraphernalia. The next individual stood her ground and tried to verbally threaten the officers, but before that, Let's see what happens when someone tries to claim false injuries to garner sympathy. These are my, I'm not gonna ask these you are my federal rights. Grab your stuff, 
Let's go. The second incident is caused by a woman named Wright. On March 17th, 2021, in Texas City, an officer responded to a call about a maskless Wright inside an Office Depot store. Hello there. She refused to leave. We told her to put on a mask and she refused to put on a mask. But she's yelling. Ma'am. The entry of member of the public. Ma'am, if you refuse to leave, you're going to go to jail for trespassing. You can't. You want to read this? These are my... I'm office. not going to ask These you These are again. my federal rights. Grab your stuff. Let's go. No, I'm not going. Okay. You're in violation of the law. You want to hear this or not? Ma'am, what are you doing? You don't, know jerk what? don't jerk away okay. from me. Listen to me. Don't jerk away you from me. You see this? Yeah, I saw it. You see this? You know where it came I do. from? Turn around. You know where it came from, ma'am? Turn around. Okay, I hope everyone's filming this because this is a major violation. Listen, I don't oh, want to hurt you. A major violation. Wait, give me your arm. You gonna take me down? Yeah. Oh, well that's great. Okay. So you wanna leave? Oh, you nope. guys are in such trouble. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm sorry, that's my personal business. You may not have it. That is my personal business. You may not have it. The officer then escorted her to a police cruiser. Before placing her in the vehicle, she tried to pat down Wright. She tried to start an argument with the cop. Another officer was able to recognize her from the previous incident. Despite their best attempts, Wright refused to comply with them. You are taking my rights away. Yeah, that's what happens when you go to jail. Your rights are taken away. Really, really tight. That's what happens when you resist. You pull away from officers. No, I'm trying to school you people. I'm trying to school you people on my rights. You're the one going to jail. Hey, buddy. See ya. What's your name? Terry Wright. Oh, you were the lady the other day causing issues in Galveston. No, you didn't... I was the lady the other day. Uh, you following didn't learn, my rights. You didn't learn your lesson following in Galveston? My rights. What are you doing? Taking the off. Oh, wow, lady. That's my business. It's Officer Arthur Lee. Hello, Is this, uh... Come see. Have a seat. Yep. Where's my phone? Oh. Have a seat. The officer warned Wright that if she did not comply, she would have no other option but to use physical force. Wright kept demanding her phone, despite the officer's request to properly sit inside the cruiser. Another officer inquired with the dispatch if Wright's warrant from the previous incident was still active. There's not enough room, ma'am. Listen, I'm asking you nicely to put your leg in. If not, I'm gonna drag you in. Ma'am? You gonna wash it? That's the one from the Bank of America deal in Dallas. So she just looked at the store. She said, oh, I saw. She had some kind of post or something on her phone. But I asked her to leave twice. And I told her if she refused to leave, she's going to go to jail for trespass. Yeah. We all have body cameras on. It's going to be that lady from Bank of America the other day. See if that warrant's active. So I tell you on that other call, the lady saying it can't happen at like 1.30. Exactly. But the neighbors all said four. Wright claimed that her foot was broken. The officer convinced her to sit properly. She kept pestering for her phone. Later, Wright was booked into Galveston County Jail. May I have my phone, please? No, you can't have it in the back my of the My phone, is, my, my foot is not fitting in here, sir. My foot is broken in three if, if bones. You, if you scoot back a little bit. You can put your you can put your foot over there. Post or something on the phone. Scoot back. Scoot back. There you go. Okay. Are we being filmed here? Yeah. We don't have body cameras on. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. May I please have my phone back? No. It's a it's an officer safety issue. You can't have it in the back of your car. I'm handcuffed. Okay. And I would like my phone. Scoot back, ma'am. Put your legs in. There you go. 
Wright was charged with criminal trespass and resisting arrest, search, or transport. Her bond totaled $2,500. As mentioned before now, we will see when someone tries to verbally threaten the cops. I asked Get the stop. stop. No! Take me to Jail. The next incident centered around 24-year-old Talisa Machopatao. On June 12, 2022, in Wausau, Wisconsin, officers monitoring city surveillance cameras noticed Talisa sunbathing at a park. She had an active warrant for failure to appear. Why you gotta walk away from us? You know we're gonna drive. Dude, I was walking home for a f to go check on an old man. Being here, me uh, asking you to stop though, no. really commanding you to stop. Heard me talk. Don't so. command me. I'm not a f dog. Well, you have a warrant, so you have to talk to you. We have to take you to jail. And I'm not a f dog. She told the officers that she had a needle on her. She started to demand a female officer. She rejected the search attempts. She was becoming increasingly argumentative. Yep, needle. Where? Okay. Where's that? Just so I can take it out. I don't have a needle, seriously. Have you noticed anything like that? Nope, I wish. Okay, do you want to understand this over the Nope. Please? Nope. I request a female. We don't have a female officer. That's bullshit. Then you better take me to jail right away. Well, then I request a female. Okay. No, I want a female. Right? It's always kind of a creepy feeling. Don't right. touch me. Stop touching me. What you have to understand is I have. I don't care. I'm requesting person. a female. Nope. Right, there's not a female. Take me to in jail. Stop touching me. The officers tried to place her near the cruiser. The officers tried to calm her. However, Talise started behaving erratically. She started hitting her head on the hood of the cruiser. Stop! Just lean against the No! I want a female! No, I have a right to request a female! Can I, and I ask? take me to jail! I asked. Don't have a start swinging off on you guys. I asked. Stop. No! Take me to jail! I asked if there was a no! The officer had to restrain her from injuring herself. Talise started resisting when the officers tried to search her. She even tried to spit on one of the officers. Oh, you douche me! Stop! Ow! You gotta stop resisting. No! Ow! And the last thing we want is. Stop! That might very well be, but I can't allow you to do that. Get off me! Please. I'm requesting a f***ing female! Please. I have a civil you right to request a f***ing female! Then take me to f***ing jail! And we're working on that. Please. Can she spit on you? Yes. Okay. 151, we have local charges. Take me to f***ing jail! Please, I was just about to ask Take me to Jail. No. Take me to jail. She started to verbally threaten the officers. Talsi again started hitting her head. The officers finally placed her inside the cruiser. She was transported to the jail. She continued to be argumentative. Good, because I'm requesting a female officer. I know. I know you are. Oh, you mother dead. You get a you <laughs> touch me. If you don't stop resisting, I'm gonna oh! stop. Stop! Spray you if you don't stop resisting. No! Oh! <laughs> stop! Stop doing it. Take me to in jail! I can't. Oh! Stop! I can't. Stop! Right, let's get her in. Get your door open. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it.
Can we step yep. back from the squad? Yeah, Can you ask Thank you. Thank you. No! Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go. You bitch. Here. Can't wait till f terrorist threats. Yeah, Ass cops. Spit, on you just... spit at me and hit here, and then some of it hit my arm. We can't confirm this was I, here, right? I didn't know. I'll just dispose of it. Yeah. Most of it hit my car, but... You go for a drive? No, okay, I'll follow you. Do you want me to follow instead you since you're out of here soon? Yeah, I made myself primary. You guys took the other two warrants. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, there's one. Okay. Ah, uh, I, I can walk quick. I'm not worried about it. All right. What's that? It's going okay. Enjoy the weather. Tired. Well, I went to go put her in a compliance hole, but then I think she started to kick out again. So. Is that cool enough back there? Talise Machopatau was charged with felony counts of battery or threat to an officer, two counts of bail jumping, and discharging bodily fluids at an officer. Transitioning from Wow Sow's chaos, we now put the spotlight on a warrant issue on a Florida man. One for the road over here? He's got three, he's got three local. And I know, three of them? Yeah. Our final confrontation unfolds with a man with not one, but three outstanding warrants. On April 18th, 2023, at 11.06 a.m. in Sarasota, Florida, where a routine traffic stop escalated towards the wrong turn into his eventual downfall. Give me one day, Mike. You know what? I've got my suit in heaven. Give me hey, one me, day. Let me, hey, let me get your info. One, one day, bro. Hey, hey, hey let one. me get your info. What's your first name? Daryl Gunn. James Daryl Gunn. James? Yeah. Give me one day, bro. He's crazy. Play, man. Play, bro. I'm asking you to play, man. You got my word on this. Like I months. promise you I'll walk down there and no, turn no, myself no, in. No, no, no. Hey, just talk to me. All right, James D. And then yes. what's your last name? Gun, G. Renner. I promise you I'll take Talk to him. G. U. N. What's your date of birth? Yeah, she's trying to help me, man. He's trying to help me. I get that. But you've had it for how many months? How many months? I promise you. I promise you. Well, if hey, you give on. me one day, I promise you. back on the you can get it. One day. <laughs> that thing comes back 1092. We gotta take it. We gotta take yeah. it. You can't give me one day, brother. Man, I'm giving you six months and you know it. I need it, though. I need to get this money, bro. You know I live on the street. Got another man. I ain't doing nothing, bro. I ain't crapping the land. Can't give me one day, man, please. Ultimately, we have a job to do. I know you do. All right. Yeah, now you I'm know teaching me. and I can't go turning my back on things. I'm I giving know. you plenty of time to go get this fixed but, on your own. But if you give me one day, no, one day ain't going to change. Nothing. Please. One day ain't going to change. It will make a lot because this place, he's helping me. They're trying to get money wide. Who's trying? My sister's wiring me money. Ask him and he's helping me. Oh, one time. Can I get it? And I can't give you that. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I get it? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Can I Alright, I'm going to do another one. Step four. 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 Step four
for the long guy. Sample. Hey, turn around for me. The officer tells the man he has three outstanding warrants. He tells the man not to reach for anything and that he has to search him. The man says he has nothing illegal on him besides cigarettes. The officer discovers the man's belt and the man clarifies that he uses it to keep his pants up. You have to understand that, you know, if you got a warrant, I can't walk away from it. No, but it's not an outstanding warrant. You got three of them. <laughs> you got three warrants. Okay. So we got, we got to take you. I don't have an option at this point. Right, let, me, let, me, let me go smoke. All right, hang on. Don't, don't be reaching for nothing. Do you have anything other than the cigarettes in there? No. Okay, I'm uh -huh. gonna search you, all right? Do you have like needles? No, nothing. Nothing like that, okay. You have a knife. Well, we can't be. Well, that's right there in plain view. I get, I know. But what's this? Just holding my pants up. Oh, uh, okay. Um, right, I'm gonna hold on to the knife for now. I'll search you when we get to the car, okay? Yeah. If you want a cigarette, me, I'll ask Miller. Yeah. yeah, Miller's been good to you. Yeah. yeah. The officer tells the man it would be easier if he got the warrants taken care of, so he didn't have anything on his record anymore. The man agrees. The officer asks what the warrants are for and says they will see what his bond is. He tells the man he can't have the cigarettes on him right now, but will ask the other officer if he wants to smoke. On the flip side though? Let me turn myself in on my charge a lot easier. On the flip side though, you get it taken care of. And then you don't got anything on your back anymore. That's true too. You know what I mean? I'll you think you you'll think you'll be out? I don't know, but I'm wanting to get this money straight out because I don't want to sit up broke about nothing, man. What's the warrant for? Oh, for the town, fire, It's not too bad, right? We'll see what your bond is, right? We'll see. Mm. But uh, we'll we'll take you back to the car. I'll search you. You can't have this on you right now. But no. I'll, I'll see if Mil he wants to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> The man is escorted to the police car by the officer, who then talks to his colleague about him. The man asks if he can take one last hit of his cigarette before going into the car. The officer refuses and says he is going to search the man before putting him in the car. One for the road, man. He's got three. He's got three local. Three of them. Yeah. Daryl, don't give him no grief. I am I should just take a hit, man. No, you're not taking a hit. <laughs> you're not custody at this point. Before you go in the car, I'm gonna search you, okay? From top to bottom, look at the brim of the hat. So you see these? You want to go hide stuff in here? Get a little bag. I'll let him know now. James, do you gun? I'll look at the cigarettes. While searching for the man, the officer finds a small bag and asks the man if he uses anything other than spice. The man admits to using meth in the past. you have this at the jail. Do you want me to give it to Brandy? Yeah. Well, uh, you got your ID and stuff in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. The man was arrested on three outstanding local warrants. For more chilling tales of criminals, hit the subscribe button.